Hi everyone, this is April from Android Authority. In this episode, I'm going to talk about two of today's hottest smartphones: the Apple iPhone 5 and Google Nexus 4 made by LG. These are powerful and very attractive phones, but one may suit you much better than the other. Hopefully, after this review, you'll find out which one is best for you. As far as size and weight are concerned, each of these two phones speaks to different crowds. On the one hand, the iPhone 5 is slimmer, lighter, and smaller than the Nexus 4. For some people, these iPhone 5 qualities are huge factors. Admittedly, these make the iPhone more portable than the Nexus 4. This is not saying that the Nexus 4 is not portable. On the contrary, the Nexus 4 is, in fact, still portable despite being bigger and heavier, which is a necessary trade-off for its larger battery and bigger screen, both of which are deciding factors for many. Both phones manifest their minimalist designs in quite different ways. On the Nexus 4, for instance, the front of the phone has nothing except the touchscreen itself, the front camera, notification light, light sensors, and phone earpiece grill on top. A similar observation can be said of the iPhone 5. On its front, you'll see only the physical home button, the camera, and the phone speaker grill. The left and right bezels on both phones are thinner than their top and bottom bezels, presumably to give better grip when using the phones in landscape mode. On the Nexus 4, the bezels are surrounded by a silver frame, while on the iPhone 5, the bezels are framed by bluish gray aluminum, which also makes up the phone's sides. These are very beautiful and elegantly designed smartphones. Both Apple and LG deserve a pat on the back for these, if you ask me. Hardware buttons are conveniently positioned too. On the Nexus 4, the volume rocker sits on the left side, reachable by the index and middle fingers in right-handed use. Though unlike the Galaxy Nexus, the SIM tray on the Nexus 4 pops out from the left side. In contrast, on the left side of the iPhone 5 are its mute or lock switch and the round volume keys. On the iPhone's right side is its SIM tray. No button here for your thumb to press. I find this design helpful to convenience because the thumb can focus primarily on supporting the phone. In contrast, the Nexus 4's right side has only the power button, which is within easy reach of the thumb. At the top side of the Nexus 4 is a lonely headphone jack. I personally find this location very convenient since I usually keep my phone in an upright position inside my pocket. On the top side of the iPhone 5 is its power button near the corner and within easy reach of the index finger of either hand. At the bottom of the Nexus 4 is the micro USB port and two Torx screws, which in my opinion greatly disturb the nearly seamless frame of this beautiful phone. Meanwhile, at the bottom of the iPhone 5 are its headphone jack, loudspeakers, and non-standard compliant and proprietary lightning port. The Nexus 4's non-removable back is a truly shining piece of artwork. I describe it as having subtle flamboyance. It's speckled with crystals that twinkle when viewed from certain angles. This Nexus logo and this LG logo appear to float on a sea of glittering crystals if you view them from a slight angle. The back panel is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 2, which provides protection against scratches, but not against drops or strong bumps. Much as I want the entire back to be completely smooth, there's a break in the glass here for the camera flash housing and down here for the speaker grill. The 8 megapixel camera is underneath the protective glass cover. The back of the iPhone 5, of course, is also a delight to look at. It's a very simple design, and I find its simplicity elegant. The back has black strips of glass here and here. Majority of the back is dark gray, and it appears to shine a bit when light hits it from a certain angle, revealing both the Apple logo and the iPhone wordmark. This back plate is a tough one. It's made of aluminum, and as we've demonstrated in our drop test not too long ago, it's hard to crack this thing. Just like the Nexus 4, this Apple phone has an 8 megapixel camera and flash. If you think that the exterior of these two phones are already eye-popping, wait until you've seen the gorgeous displays on each of these. The Nexus 4, of course, has a larger 4.7-inch screen that uses true HD IPS Plus technology. It displays images in high definition, and it's very easy to see that the display is sharp and crisp. The iPhone 5, in contrast, uses Apple's Retina display on its 4-inch IPS TFT screen with a resolution of 1136 by 640 pixels. I particularly admire the vibrant and bright colors on the iPhone 5. Photos and videos appear rich and bursting with colors on this phone. On the Nexus 4, colors are slightly subdued, though still colorful. 
I personally prefer the brightness of the display on the Nexus 4 because it doesn't sting or strain my eyes with prolonged viewing. As for performance, these are powerful and smooth phones with quad-core power on the Nexus 4 and dual-core power on the iPhone 5. The Google phone runs the latest Android 4.2.1 Jelly Bean, and the Apple phone has the latest iOS 6.0.1. Navigation is smooth and fluid on both phones. Their respective touchscreens are very responsive, and app launching is generally quick. Playing games is likewise smooth. Though for games, I prefer the Nexus 4's bigger screen to the iPhone 5's cramped screen. Web browsing is also generally snappy, although I noticed that photos on web pages flicker or take a moment to re-render when zooming in on them on the Nexus 4. I didn't notice this behavior on the iPhone 5. Although I prefer the Nexus 4's bigger display because it allows a screen full of text without having to squint. These two phones can play 1080p Full HD video without any problem. Each phone comes with its default movie and music player with simple and straightforward playback controls. Sound level and quality on the loudspeakers are quite wonderful, but the Nexus 4's audio tends to be muffled when placing the phone on a flat surface because its loudspeakers are at the back. Whereas the iPhone 5's loudspeakers are along the bottom side. Although both phones have equalizer presets, the Nexus 4 leaves more room for manual audio adjustment through a 5-band equalizer with bass booster and 3D effect. For storage, the Nexus 4 has only two storage models, one for 8GB and another for 16. The iPhone 5 has three, 16, 32, and 64GB models. As far as storage is concerned, the iPhone 5 gives you more options. The two phones won't allow you to add more storage via microSD card. For connectivity, the Nexus 4 requires a micro SIM, while the iPhone 5 requires a smaller nano SIM. Both phones are capable of both 3G and Wi-Fi connections, but the iPhone 5 can also connect to 4G. Both are equipped with Bluetooth, but in our experience, Bluetooth on the iPhone 5 sucks somehow and is somewhat very picky when pairing with other devices. The Nexus 4 also supports NFC and uses a standards-compliant micro-USB port. The iPhone 5 doesn't have NFC and uses a proprietary non-standards-compliant USB port that Apple calls the Lightning port. Both phones have primary cameras with the same 8-megapixel resolution. Each one is capable of producing crisp and clear photos given adequate lighting. Both photo cameras are very snappy too, hardly any shutter lag. On the iPhone 5, though, you're stuck with only 8 megapixel photos. On the Nexus 4, you can set the camera to capture at lower sizes, even up to QVGA size. Both can capture up to 1080p Full HD videos, with the Nexus 4 allowing you to choose lower resolutions such as 720p and 480p. Generally, and based on our experience with these two phones, the iPhone 5 seems to produce better looking photos and videos. It also has image stabilization to reduce shaking. As for battery life, the Nexus 4 has a 2100 mAh lithium polymer battery with published talk time of 15 hours on 3G. That's enough power to last you through a workday. The iPhone 5 has a 1440 mAh lithium polymer battery with published talk time of 8 hours on 3G. All things being equal, of course, the Nexus 4 appears to provide longer battery life, but then again, your mileage will vary according to use. It's difficult to say whether the Nexus 4 is better than the iPhone 5 or vice versa. Both phones have elegant designs and great performance potential, but cater to different crowds. The iPhone 5 is known for its durability, design, and stable ecosystem. On the other hand, the Nexus 4 comes from a lineage of customizable software that is competitive, both in performance and price. Which phone offers you the features that you need? iPhone 5? Nexus 4? Leave a comment and let us know. Get more Android news and reviews from AndroidAuthority.com and from our YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching. This is April from Android Authority. Until next time, may the light side of the Android Force be with you. <laughs>